But now it's time to talk the unexpected drop today of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Doug and I have both seen it. Dave has not seen it yet. So it'll be interesting to get his reaction. Well, so what should we do about that, Keith? I think we should maybe watch it. I'll tell you what sucks is there's going to be a seven second delay with what I see and how I react to it. <laughs> it's saying a, so. it's saying a one second delay right now. <clears throat> but we'll see. Oh, I, you know what? Um, you should uh, you should put headphones in, uh, Dave. Zeebler. Five seconds right now. What? You should put headphones in so you can hear it. Uh, what through the. Through the Zoom? Through the, the stream, yeah, the Twitch stream or no, something. Through the Twitch. Oh. Um, hmm. If you have any, if not. Yeah, you don't have to. Because we'll be talking, because... we will be talking more in depth about this on Sunday night, obviously. Yeah. This is just our reaction. We're going to kind of mm -hmm. talk more about it at on our Sunday night stream, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Be there or be square. I but... will be there. Oh man, you're such a. He's gonna be square. Yeah. <laughs> but let's let's kick it off here. We were gone. I can pause it. You know, for quite a see. while. But no matter what happens That's next, like the, other. the galaxy still yeah. needs its guardians. We see them in their new uniforms. Hello. And it's funny because they're coming out come into in peace. this. And if you look, everyone is animals. Now they're on Earth, right? No, I don't believe they are. Well, maybe counter Earth. Because this okay, looks right. like some Animen. This looks like yep. they're on the planet with the high evolutionary. Because everyone here is an animal some, of some type. I think this is like, it looks like just a regular suburban town. There's like there's cars and houses and everything. So I wasn't sure if this was some town that the uh, high evolutionary had taken over. But Counter Earth, I forgot that it was a thing. Yep. So, okay. So those of you that don't know, it's like on the exact <clears throat> opposite side of the sun. It's mm -hmm. an exact duplicate of Earth, only High Evolutionary runs it. And then this is great. I love this scene where the little thing throws the ball to Drax. He just nails her. <laughs> we come in peace, by the way, is what he says right before nailing her, Dave. Yeah. It's like a a, um, a Peyton Manning commercial. Yeah. But you remember that one? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then on, they're Drax. all up in arms. Seriously, and dude? gets hit by no, a no, rock. No, no. so bad. And Drax is like, even if Drax gets hit by a and then we see him on the heard that Drax, remember when on the holiday special when he was getting shot and he was just laughing? Yeah. I think it was more of a and shock. He gets hit by a rock. He's like, why are they hitting me with a rock? Don't forget. And if you see here, I kind of paused it here, it looks like a hand reaching into a cage to grab mm. a baby raccoon. Yep. James Gunn, sense. James Gunn is gonna make me ugly cry when I see this movie. Yes. I know it. And that's that's got to be Rocket. Where did him from? We see him now. We see these crazy suits. They're jumping into a thing. I couldn't tell if this is maybe the quantum realm or another universe. I think this or is nowhere. I think they're they're either like somewhere around nowhere, or they are on uh, some sort of planet or something that the high evolutionary is uh, is at or living on do you remember in dr strange when they were going between universes and they switched to the paint color yeah mm -hmm. and all those same colors were represented i wonder in all the are all those the infinity stones colors too yeah blue oh. yellow orange yellow yeah green and red huh which one's missing there's six the one that's in Adam Warlock's Purple. head. The Power Stone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. We have been running. This and then we really see... Cool shot. I do like it. Yeah, it definitely was. Then we see Gamora, who we know is not the Gamora from Volume 2 and Volume 1, but one from the past that came forward in Endgame. And, and I wonder... Need Peter right in his gonads. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she's she like... the first time. She's looking at a picture of Thanos, like... Wolverine looks at all the pictures and from all the memes. Now, is Nebula carrying Peter here? Uh, Who is that that she's got? I'm not sure. That's probably a good choice because I don't see Peter. Our whole lives. 
But we see Cosmo, we see Rocket, we see Kraglin, we see Groot, Swole Groot. Yeah. yeah. So I bet. Oh, it is Peter. Look. So I'm I'm guessing something happened to him. He yeah. de- he's <laughs> dead. He dies in this. Spoiler alerts. No, <laughs> is Rocket enjoying some blue milk there? What is he sipping on? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a gin and juice. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there's so much drama in LBC. And then we see kind of Peter standing there. I'm done fire. running. And I think that's where Rocket says, and I'm not running anymore. And he gets mm-hmm. his little gun out. And I think this is where we're going to see the battle And we see the back of the high evolutionary's head. Now this oh, is a, um, oh, that song. just a, a couple seconds to that sort of like fleshy looking thing. Or whatever the heck that was with the, the circle. Right there, there, yes. Yep. Okay. This is what I think they were jumping out into in the colored spacesuits. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, I, th- this looks like... I, I'm i thinking whatever this is, it is either something from nowhere or this is some sort of thing that the High Evolutionary grew in space. Because it, it seriously, it, it looks like at least to me. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like it's flesh. No, it does look like it's flesh. You're. That's why I thought it was the quantum realm because it looks so odd. Like it could be some living, breathing mm-hmm. organism that's just bigger than things around it. But you do kind of see on the sides. It looks like some electrical, like electronic equipment kind over of like on the right side. Electronic stuff embedded into a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like. It could, you know, the kind of thing it, they had it. Um, where do you go to make the Stormbreaker? Oh, oh yeah, at uh, um, near 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 the Vetalier. What? That's a, that's just a made up word. All words are made up. <laughs> All of our Nordic fans are going to be very upset at you. <laughs> I already see him pending a nasty letter. <laughs> Right. And they're made-up letters that aren't actually real. We got a reaction. That's all we wanted, right? That's right. That's right. Back to my evolutionary's head. Then we see him. I was trying to figure out. That almost looks like Mantis, but I know it's not Mantis, but like a flashback he's like Mantis? studying. Well, no, because she was Ego's kid. Mm-hmm. So I don't think she was with the high evolutionary. Just the fact that he's like studying whatever he created here and trying to figure it out because you know the high evolutionary is all about bettering each experiment he does so getting better with each one so the people we met early on aren't his failed experiments but they're experiments that weren't perfect so he kind of oh you guys go live there have a have a life i'm going to keep working i'm going to make you know the perfect sort of animate and i think adam warlock I, i just absolutely believe that adam warlock and rocket are going to have some camaraderie because they were both basically created by the High Evolutionary. I think that's going to help bring Adam Warlock to the Guardian side and away from the side. Then we see Gamora looking... And you said we weren't going to analyze. You said we were just going to react. We are just reacting. We're going to get even We're going to get even more deep as this goes on. (laughs) But these are just thoughts that I've had leading up to Volume 3, and seeing some of, seeing things on the screen makes me think my theories are right. It's then we see Drax. It almost seems like every Guardian at some point in this looks like they're near death. Like, I don't know what happened to Drax there. He, he was shot is what it looks like. Yeah. And he's not doing well. We see Peter in the mm. background. Looks like he's holding something. He also looks very pale here, too. While they're carrying him. Alright, and uh looks like What's um, now now that didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, I just said what's the new ship called? Oh, I don't know. That's but a good question. This, uh, this scene right here where the ship is coming forward, are they breaking away from something? Because that doesn't look like the normal uh graphic for when they're coming out of hyperspace. No, it definitely looks like they're coming through a shield of some type. Whether it's nowhere, like nowhere has a defense system, mm-hmm. and they're kind of o- opening a hole to get out of it, that's a... not sure. And then we get another shot of them in their colored spacesuits, 
going down to flesh world or whatever that is. It that it looks even more fleshy in this scene. Mm. Like, oh man, that's then we see we'll all fly away together. And then we see little rocket again. I hope he's as gruff as a baby as he is. <laughs> And I was trying to figure out who the I'm heck is I'm afraid that it's, gonna, that it's gonna be sad and he's not gonna be gruff and he's gonna be like begging for the high evolutionary to stop experimenting on him. Oh my god, they're, I'm telling you, that's no, he probably will. You're right because that'll get and that's, and that's gonna be the night that my allergies are really acting up. Well, May, you know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, hay fever, a lot of pollen in the air, a lot of pollen yeah, yeah. in the air in May. In the, so. in the theater, especially, it's I just, hear they're gonna be pumping it into the theater, yeah, to yeah. try to help, you know. One last time. Then we see Swole Groot and Peter running from a ship crashing. <laughs> I like that name, by the way. I, I hope uh, hope that uh, that can become his nickname. Get that trending on Twitter, Keith. Swole Groot. People have been. I didn't make that up. I saw it today. And I oh, laughing. for real? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Then we see Nebula cheering. Then we see... Uh, is this like right after the holiday special? <laughs> I'm assuming yes. She still filled. World Cup finals. She's still filled with that holiday, that Christmas cheer that yeah. ripped poor Bucky's arm off. And then we see like looks like some blood work being done by the High Evolutionary, leading into Quill. That beautiful. And then, in the comics, Rocket. I don't know if it's his wife or his girlfriend, but I think it's called Who Layla. Is that otter thing. I think it's Layla. Okay. And that's kind of who, like, his significant other was in the comics. I don't know for sure, but with them hugging like that, I definitely think. I wonder if he comes back to Haft World, or I can't remember, Counter-Earth. I can't remember what they call it. Because they were, Rocket had said in one of the, in Volume 1 or Volume 2, that he was either from, it's like Half world or Counter-Earth. Half world huh? I can't remember which, but Bizarro. I think. Bizarro. Yes, Bizarro World. <laughs> Me is, and is that, uh, does that can that count as your uh, um, Smallville reference or not? Not quite. It's, there. A, it's kind of a reach, but they did okay. do Bizarro in Smallville, so. <laughs> so then we get within an hour. Yeah. Then we get this. Does this look like the same monster they defeated for the Sovereign earlier? It does. It does. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just me. I was like, oh, man, is this thing coming for revenge? Is this going to be the no, that, beginning? It's like... I, and I wonder, is it still softer on the inside? <laughs> yeah. Is, is it its brother and it's mad? And it's like, you killed my brother. And Drax will be like, yeah, I did. <laughs> and then and we get... Course, you will beast. be as weak as him. And then we get our first shot of Adam there Warlock. What's the outfit? Looks like the Guardian's outfits. It does look a little bit like the Guardian's outfit. You're right. I can't see what that is on his chest. It looks like a skull almost. But I don't know if he's working for the high... That's a good question because we know in the comics it's a soul stone and there's no way it's the soul stone here. So it'll be interesting what they're going to do with that. But... It does look like to me that he might be working for the High Evolutionary at one point because I almost think that looks like an Animan outfit. Like, mm. not really sure, but I think we may see him helping. Oh, messed up! Going back to your earlier theory, where you're saying that um, it's possible the High Evolutionary was uh, brought on by uh, the the Sovereign to help them build uh, Adam Warlock. What if he did? But then he also um, conquered their planet and experimented on, on all of them to make them more evolved. Oh, man. I like that but theory. I could see him doing something messed up like that. Like, hmm, Adam Warlock really is the best of you. I could make you all better. <laughs> that was the price she paid to... Get Adam Warlock. Mm -hmm. you, I get to experiment on the rest of you, too. Yeah, sure. Wait, what did I agree to? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then this almost looks like a trailer trick to me. I don't know why, but... Oh, let's go. It looks like Adam Warlock. Mm -hmm. But it, the way it, it... 
I guess it is kind of her. It does look like her. Yeah, no, that is her because you see the blue. That yeah. yeah. The way she's sitting after it, I was like, okay, that looks kind of sketchy to me. But slowing it down right there, it's definitely her. Mm-hmm. So they will be fighting Adam Warlock at one point. Well, yeah, now her outfit here looks identical to his. Yeah, she's wearing the same, same as what he's wearing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. He's definitely this is where she, she convinces him to be part of the team. <laughs> I was held by the Sovereign. Oh, okay, I'll join your team. Then right. we see Mantis upset. Then we see the team walking out in the fight from fire. Then we see Rocket again. And then I love this scene with uh, Swole Groot and Peter. I can't wait to see them. Hoping we do get some. Now, in my opinion, <coughs> this PG does look better. Now, I, I get, again, they didn't have the same budget for the holiday special that they um, do for a, a full feature length movie, but this to me looks better than, than he did in the holiday special. No, he definitely does. He looks similar, but a lot more detail. Yes. In him, yeah. I like how he's holding like six guns. Right. I wonder if that probably isn't, but it'd be funny if that was like a reference to uh, um, the the robot dude from uh, the prequel movies, Star Wars. Oh, uh, General Grievous? General Grievous, thank you, yes. I've studied in your Jedi ways. Vum, 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 vum. <laughs> and then he just did. Spins all the lightsabers. Spinning like IG-88, so it's a little... Right. <laughs> it's hard to get through that, but, you know. Then we see Drax. I love that song, by the way. Yes. Anyone who gets in our way, no. not kill yeah, anyone. Kill, kill, people. kill no people. Music. Kill one guy, one stupid guy who no one loves. Now you're just making it sad. Five five twenty three. Cannot wait till five four twenty three, when we are sitting down with our yep. sodas and our popcorn, getting ready to watch this film because we haven't done our we haven't ranked our most anticipated of twenty twenty three, or our most anticipated of phase five, but this is going to be, if not the top, very close to the top, just because of what has. You know, to me, Volume 1, or Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't know, was it called Volume 1 or just Guardians of the Galaxy? It was just Guardians of the Galaxy. It was a great film. Loved it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is tremendous. I mean, just incredibly well done. Great film. And I know James Gunn had said that, he said in trilogies, the third movie is almost always the worst. And he wanted to make sure that it doesn't happen with this trilogy. So I think he went all out with this. And, you know, I just trust him as a filmmaker and as a writer that this is just going to be an amazing time at the theater. You know, do, what do you date? Think hmm? Do you think that's true about trilogies? When you think I about don't. it? I don't. I don't think it's true all the time. Uh, a lot of, there are a good handful of trilogies where you know, it's at least the ones that we've watched, you know, pretty that they aren't always the greatest. Like, people argue that, you know, Re- um, Return of the Jedi, not the greatest in the original trilogy. Um, you know, pe- we've agreed that Terminator 3 wasn't great, especially following up with Terminator 2. But I would argue out of the original trilogy, Revenge of the Sith was the stronger of the, orig- the, uh, the prequel yeah. <clears throat> movies. So, like, I think it's oh, yeah. it's going to be hit or miss. And look Phantom at, Menace was definitely the worst of that series. Yes, it was. <laughs> I don't know. Clone uh, Attack of the Clones was pretty bad too. I liked Attack of the Clones. Call me crazy. Attack of the Clones. It could have been better if some of these characters had been inter- If they'd done um, Phantom Menace different, if they wouldn't have wasted our time with Baby Anakin, if they would have maybe introduced us to Dooku in that movie instead of dumping him in Attack of the Clones I think that would have been better yeah we needed more like um, the Clone Wars type of Anakin in those movies than we needed the 
Uh, oh boy, I'm going to kill a bunch of people and win the battle without knowing how. I'll do a spin move. That's cool. <laughs> wow. That's, hey, hey, that's wizard. That is wizard. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and we I think we all agree that Rise of Skywalker was terrible, so. Yeah. Uh, Rise of what? What, do you, what is this? Is Dave making up movies now? I think he is. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I did well, not. We, we got to wa- wa- wipe out the TFA as well. Just get rid of all of them and start over. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, I have no problems with that. Got no issues with that. All right. Well, um, there was a scene. I think we might have. Um, we were we were going through, and I I forgot to bring it up. But at one point, you see uh, Peter wearing earbuds, and I think he was listening to a Zune. Oh, I hope he was. Well, I'm sure he would keep that in there. Mm-hmm. For the continuity, but yeah, I I, uh, I I saw that like in one of the scenes when, um, when I was watching the trailer earlier, and I I saw the earbuds with the the wires, and I'm like, he's got to be listening to a Zoom. I hope so. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, just had to get that in there before we moved on. But what? yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And you know what, gentlemen, I think I'm also looking forward to. Uh, for 18 2023 when they do the red carpet premiere and we have to sit there and and see all of the the vague tweets and YouTube videos from all the people that were invited that aren't us <laughs> well, it was funny I was laughing I was talking to TG terrible gamer today on slack at work uh-huh. and I was asking him because he's pretty close to joining the YouTube partner program he's got the nice subscribers but he doesn't have the watch hours where we have the watch hours we're we're at eight thousand and some watch hours eight eight thousand amazing i know thank you all you people Woo. definitely thanks everybody for doing that but subscribe too while you're watching we need that but i was laughing because i said something he goes you're god he's like you guys are so close too he goes you'll be getting invited to those premieres pretty soon yeah and man that would be the pinnacle of our channel. I feel like I, I will feel like we've made it when we get an invite to like a Marvel premiere or a Star Wars premiere or a DC mm-hmm. premiere or something, because that'll just be amazing. Oh yeah. Yes. When we start getting uh, reached out to by these uh, sponsors that turn out to be scams like that, um, uh, what is that? Uh, the the Scottish land one where you can be a, they they told everybody you could be a lord or lady. They're in hot water now. Oh, are they, they really? Still sell those. Oh yeah. All these YouTube. So you don't own a foot of Scottish land? No, you do not. They do. They don't transfer that ownership over to you. Well, how? Oh. So you're giving you, them. You're giving them for money nothing. for for a certificate, and then they've recently been forced to update their website to let people know it's a gag gift. Oh my god! Hey. So they don't you're get too misleading. A lot of channels I've seen they've sell, they're selling that on. Mm-hmm. Wow! And a lot of channels have now had to put out apologies for not uh, doing research into the company. Wow! Glad that wasn't us. <laughs> no, no. Um, um, but Merry we, Christmas. We should, we should say this <laughs> now, like before we blow up. I think we should uh, come to an agreement that if we are reached out to for sponsorships, we look into whatever company. That uh, you know we want to, um, that we want to sponsor us, and before running an ad for them, we figure out whether they're uh, you know full of BS or not. <laughs> whether they're too legit, too legit to too quit. Too legit to quit. Dun dun. Too legit. Like I too personally legit. don't know if I would too feel comfortable doing that Raid Shadow Legends, one that everybody is also uh, being sponsored by, just because it it seems like. Uh, it seems like one of those phone games that takes advantage of people and kind of siphons all your money out. You yeah, just be. lost us a sponsorship. Oh, no. <laughs> Two. You're We're not going to make anyone a Scottish Lord either. <clears throat> We're preemptively hurting ourselves here. What are we doing? Look, look. I, I am willing to to bring Sprite back into the fold. Come on, Sprite. You know you love us. We'll We'll take you on. We'll be your sole YouTube sponsor. We didn't we'll tell everybody how videos. awesome you are. 
Not that anybody needs to be told that Sprite is good, but I mean, think about the 90s, all the Pepsi and Coke ads. I mean, nobody, they didn't have to put those out. They chose to. That's right. And we can bring the soda wars back. (laughs) Speaking of soda wars, do you think the polar bear that drinks Coke is upset that cocaine bear is getting his own film and he's not? Keith, I, I I hate to burst your bubble, but I think that bear is dead now. Oh my God. Due to all the soda that he drank. Drinking too much Coke. He definitely got bear diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> well, one's a grizzly and one's a polar bear. So. Well, they both got Coke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they both got Coke, so what do you, you know, What do they got to complain about? And don't forget to hit us up at Twitter, leave a comment down below, and we will see you next time on Not Your Status Quo. Come on.